Hi Reefers, welcome back to MQ Reef. Hope everybody is doing fine. So after some do-it-yourself uh, streak, I decided to give you a tech update because there were certain changes, certain happenings which I wanted that my friends or followers must know. So let's dive deep into the reef and see what is happening there. So the first thing I wanted to share is an oscillation movement of torches, Ganipura, even the elegance is moving in oscillatory movement. However, I had the gyre which the waves would strike at this place and then they will fall down. It was placed there at the place of uh, Lobo Brain and it was getting the thrash of the waves. So in my opinion, stressing of this was majorly because of the high flow. I have uh, reduced the flow of gyres and uh, in decided to introduce the wave box which is doing fine. Now also I have changed the direction of gyres instead of moving uh, like this I have had an alternate gyre movement like this and then it would move like this alternatively. So just to uh, save my torches from direct flow. In addition <clears throat> I have uh, I had a high level of tin that is 25 parts per million in the last ICP I didn't care much but now I think it has started affecting now if you see my stylophora you can see uh, it is now little stressing it is uh, sort of a bleaching at some spots it is mainly either because of high levels of tin or uh, my inability to raise the alkalinity after a minus dosing because you know that I have never dosed a minus since last one year and uh, my tank was running fine absolutely fine on water changes but after that I decided why not to dose a minus and trace it and see what happens so the happenings are in front of you alkalinity initially dropped to 6.4 it was at 6.7 I tried to control it it, it uh, still um, kept falling I had to add the and rinse the media because uh, the media was also powdering up, uh, effluent was choking up. So that was the reason that uh, my alkalinity kept falling and when I t it rose, I was literally not very mm, happy at my way of raising the alkalinity slowly. I wanted to raise 0 0.3, 0 0.2 dkh daily but you know in 5th day, 4th day I was at 8 back again. So that is one shock that I think I've uh, given to my corals, um, which they are uh, showing me right now. The fish stock is okay, but uh, uh, this head as well as my Staraphora is not looking good. However, there are certain good news as well. I have a torch, baby torch growing up here as well. And there is a baby here as well, if you see. So uh, they are doing fine, but uh, I think I should have been more careful with uh, If you see closely, you will see the elegance is happy, 5 nitrate, this, um, hello clown, this clown is very fond of biting me as well, even if I put my hand inside the tank. I wanted, uh, this, this, this was basically covered by this green as well as hairy mushroom, but I wanted this recordia to take over. And uh, if you can see, after I've uh, taken out the other mushrooms, you can see the baby growing. Also, the babies here of the mushrooms, they are doing fine. The zoa is doing wonderful. They are competing, growing. I've added the straw is also going, but I feel that uh, this elephant ear mushroom is becoming a pest. And also the Xenia has overtaken this yellow Zoa, so I also need to trim it out. Um, Candy Cane is doing wonderful. Auroburn is doing fine. Leather is uh, closing up, probably the tank is light is also left for another one and a, one and a half hour, so it's damping down. This uh, Miyagi Todd is doing fine, has multiple colors, also few SPS and uh, my tension is of course the stylo but uh, that i will be uh, now focusing at 
other than that my icon is also not happy because either of high level of 10 as or high level or sudden rising of alkalinity or my half dose of trace elements of fauna marine that i added probably the tank didn't like it now to address tin <coughs> i have uh, introduced uh, this you can see this white is basically copisol the carbon is there and this one is metasol in addition i'm having the refugium lipid mode so that it can take out the iodine also because the iodine was also very toxic and i had already removed iodine drum basically and my thought mix was an old iodine drum as i have disclosed in the last update that i have changed so overall the corals are uh, 90% happy, 10% not happy and I also had to resort to a reduction of light, About I have reduced around 10% of light. I see little improvement in uh, corals, I have changed the carbon in case of there was some toxicity because I removed a uh, few mushrooms here. Just to be on a safer side, I changed the carbon. And uh, I think the system steams, uh, whatsoever was happening, has stopped now. But still, I am keeping a <clears throat> sorry. I am keeping a tap, on a tag on this tag, and uh, I like it to recover from whatsoever the shock I gave. To me, it's not the reef's fault; it is the reefer's fault. So there's nothing wrong with the reef. It was my fault that uh, I had high tin. I had basically. Um, uh, you can say uh, RODI line <coughs> valves over my calcium reactor effluent and it had a metallic lock inside which was made up of tin so when I removed one day I saw a rusty iron a rust over the RO line so that day I realized that I am just giving tin from everywhere <coughs> in addition my RO drum outside the house also had few tin washers which actually came with the tank and I was unable to remove it but it was also leaching, it was also rusting even in our water. So I've also removed that. So the war on tin is uh, now on at the moment. Uh, it's been seven days that I've added Capricorn and hopefully uh, by next week I'll be taking off the Capricorn and I'll be doing a major water change. The Necropora keeps breaking because of because few yesterday <laughs> clown bit me. And I had to just uh, rub her off and this was the reason that I lost 2-3 heads there. So to me, um, I love my old way of reefing that is simple water changes, no dosing of aminos or color etc. Let it run stable but uh, it is my own choice. I experiment, I want to learn because at the time you don't experiment, you don't learn. However, I wanted to share my learning with you guys so that you don't make my mistakes. So till then, I uh, hope you have enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Please uh, ask any comment if you want to and enjoy reefing. Happy reefing. See you Allah Hafiz.